you know, while it is important to understand our duties as born-again believers, that God has entrusted us with the gospel, that we are ambassadors for Christ, that, that we should go out and reconcile the people to God in His stead, and that this is our job, this is our duty, and we started off in Luke 14, and we're going to kind of see that here, that this is our responsibility, this is our duty that we need to be doing, whether you want to or not, it's something that's entrusted to you, and you ought to be doing that as a believer. But I'm not going to focus as much on that aspect as to the motivation for doing it. You know, we're, we're, we're doing this challenge in the month of June to try to give the gospel to at least one person every single day in the month. And the goal is to not just do and focus on this for the month, but to change your behavior to become a regular soul winner so that you view people with the proper care as people that need to hear the gospel to change your life, not just for a month, but for a lifetime. To be able to look at people and think about soul winning because you're looking at people differently. You're, it, you know, it, this is more than just checking off a box. This is more than just, well, I just need to make sure I'm serving the Lord. So I'm, look, Having the, the, the times and everything is extremely important to have the scheduled times and to make sure you are checking off boxes to keep yourself in order and in line and say, I need to be doing this. I need to be keeping a minimum. I need to be reading my Bible. You know, I need to be doing these things. But we need to always also remind ourselves that it's not just about checking off boxes. Right? The whole point of soul winning is the people. It's not just how you know, spiritual can I be. While that is important, that's not, that shouldn't be at least the only motivation behind it. And when it comes to soul winning, there's many motivations you could have. Serving God, loving God, right? Being obedient unto the Lord. That's a great motivation. Uh, even this month, you know, I said there's going to be a prize for those that complete the challenge. That could be a motivation. So why do this? I want to motivate people. You know, maybe you don't always have the most spiritual <laughs> things in mind, when, you know, motivations in mind when you're, when you're doing things. But we want to we want to attain that. We want to grow to that. We want to get to the point to where, you know, those things don't matter. But when you have these competitions and prizes and things like that, they do help to get people just kind of fired up a little bit. And you got a goal and there's, a, there's an end in sight. I'm not against them. That's why we do them. But I want to try to get beyond that type of thinking. 